Oh. Bump. All right, out of work and on our way home. Had to go back in for a couple hours. Not taking the expressway because the wind sucks and the expressway sucks and the roads here in general suck. So out enjoying a ride, which I have not done in a while. Like I said in uh, the previous video, I've only put about 250 miles on the bike this year and it's August. So I just haven't been riding, haven't really been feeling it, haven't been I've just been dealing with stuff, so. But, I figured today was a good day for a ride. Tonight was a good night for a ride. Only gonna be at work for a couple hours. The rain's not supposed to come for another hour or so, so why not? Let's take the bike to work. So I did. So far, it's been enjoyable. Oh my god. I don't know what that smell is, but it's awful. Well, considering the area, it's probably a body. Oh, hello, officer. I don't know what the speed limit is here, but... And I don't know if I'm going it. I guess if you pull me over, we'll find out. Rockies. Motorcycle, camping, and archery. Great place to get stuff. Good prices, good people. Sounds like a commercial. Good prices, good people. Shop at Rockies. I probably want to be in first gear. The key to riding in Flint. Don't drive fast, or don't ride fast enough that you're going to kill yourself on the potholes. Ride fast enough that you make yourself a hard target. Great. All right. Well, Bristol Road's closed. So we're going to take a trip through Murder Alley. I think I just got air on that. Holy shit. Hello, officer. I guess you were following me. Which I guess is fine, because I was running like 10 over the speed limit, and he didn't bother me. And right down there, inside the city limits, is the world-famous machine shop. And the awesome... Kevin Zink that runs the place. Kevin is an awesome guy. The Machine Shop is an awesome venue to see concerts at. But the only place that I go to see concerts anymore, I don't even bother with going to any of the bigger venues because the Machine Shop's about the best you're oh, about the best you're gonna get. can't really beat it. The security is awesome, the venue is awesome, the bands that play there are awesome, the setup's awesome, and it's uh, honestly probably the only safe place on Dort Highway to go, because they do not tolerate bullshit there at all. Anything goes down, it gets shut down in a hurry. So big shout out to Kevin and crew at the machine shop for just staying on top of it and keeping the stereotypical flint out of it. I met a cool guy today. I wish I could remember his name. There was a customer that came in 
and uh, he rides, we were talking about bikes, he's one of those hardcore Harley guys, and uh, we were talking about bikes and riding, and I told him what I rode, and he kind of looked at me, because we were talking about uh, both of us having back injuries, and he's like, wait a minute, you ride a sport bike with a back injury, and I was like, yeah, he's like, I got a back injury, I can't lean over, I got to lean back on my bike, and I said, yeah. I can't lean back or ride upright on a bike. It kills my spine. I mean, I I rode a WR200 for, you know, about three days. And that was all right, but it still, my, my back was killing me. But he was fascinated by the fact that, you know, I went from riding like cruisers before riding a sport bike now and just the fact I don't think he had actually talked to a sport bike rider before and he was just fascinated that he actually got to meet one in person it was like his unicorn or something and uh he was just fascinated by it and uh we were talking about bikes and stuff like that really nice guy he was he was a really nice guy but yeah he was just enamored of the fact that i rode a sport bike and that i i think part of it was that i rode a sport bike and that i rode a sport bike like having a, a previous back injury because i've still i've got ruptured discs in my back um l4 l5 l5 s1 are herniated and put pressure on the nerve so I can't really uh, can't really ride upright like you know I can get up like this for a little bit and stretch but to really be comfortable I've kind of got to be leaned over a little bit which kind of sucks because sometimes it hurts my abdomen because I've had two abdominal surgeries and occasionally still have issues with it. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of in between. I'm pretty much broken all the way around. So I work with what I got, do the best I can. Sometimes I can ride for a long time. Sometimes I can't ride for a long time. Sometimes I don't get a chance to ride for a long time. Thank you for waving. I'll have to go back and review the video on that because you look like a crackhead. There's a couple guys. I've been seeing more and more sport bikes around here, which is really unusual for this area because this is a big... We ride Harleys and that's it area. You hardly ever see any, you know, cruisers or anything around or any uh, sport bikes or anything around here. I've seen a couple of adventure bikes. I've seen uh, some dual sports, but I've been seeing more and more sport bikes and I've been hearing them on late night runs, which I'm sure you know what I mean. But yeah, I haven't I haven't seen too many around. Uh, there's a guy in my neighborhood. Um, I think there's a, a guy, another guy with a sport bike that maybe in my neighborhood or dating somebody in my neighborhood. I've seen. Uh, I want to say it's a, a loud ass Ninja 250. And I mean loud, like straight piped loud. But yeah, I closed the channel down. I'm, I'm recording now, obviously. I don't know how much of this you'll see, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it or not. If I do, it's, it, it's not going to be like it was before where I felt that I had to get out and ride every week and put up a vlog every week or people would lose interest and I mean honestly I don't care 
if you guys enjoy watching what I do, that's awesome and I appreciate it. Um, I wasn't really in it for the subscriber game before. I, I don't care about subscriber numbers. I mean, it would be nice to get them back up over 100 because they're, I mean, as of me recording this, they're at zero because I haven't even brought the channel back online yet. Um, it's there, it's just not, not online. But yeah, it would be nice to get back to 100 or so, I mean, but I was putting pressure on myself not to get subscribers, but to put out content. And I don't want to do that. So, I mean, the content will come out when it comes out, and if the views are good, that's awesome. If the views suck, that's awesome. If I keep doing it, great. If I stop doing it altogether, that's great too. So, I guess we'll just roll with it and see what happens. And I don't know, you may never even see this. I may not decide to relaunch it. I don't know. I may look at the video when I'm editing, editing it and say, nope, you know what? I don't really want to do it after all. But, oh, hello, officer. You sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Can't see, and looks good. It's okay, it's Richfield Township, so no matter who it is, I'm pretty sure I know them. Apparently I just tried to grab 7th gear. I don't know what the fuck that was. <coughs> and then I coughed, obviously. Hence the coughing sound. But yeah, I mean, I like I say, I'll get... I'll record... I've recorded every ride that I've taken. I just... This is honestly the first one... This may be one of the... I, I don't remember before I deleted the channel or not, and yes, the content is gone. It's not coming back. Um, all the old content has been deleted, and I no longer have that footage. Um, but I don't know... I don't know that I had recorded a vlog this year. Um, I've recorded every ride that I take, just even for safety purposes or just if anything happens. But... I haven't, uh, I didn't say a word during any of them. So, I mean, I hadn't, hadn't really done anything. So we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. Probably should stop and fill up. Got a quarter of a tank, but... Might as well stop and pop it off anyway. And then I'm gonna head home. So with that, you guys take care. You know what, screw it, I'm not getting gas. I don't care, I'll get gas on the next ride. I don't feel like digging my wallet out right now. That's how lazy I am. I don't feel like digging my wallet out. So with that, you guys have a wonderful evening, morning, day, night, mid, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this, have a good whatever it is. And I will see you next time. So, if there is a next time, again, like I say, who knows? Hello, in the dark, couldn't see if you waved, you probably couldn't see if I waved. But yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll see you, maybe I won't. Until next time, or not next time. Take care and uh, have a wonderful whatever it is where you are when you're watching this.